Hi guys, it's St. Elias and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now, I have to make a confession to you. I'd actually gone through at least recording at least four episodes, if not more. And then I actually realized I actually haven't stuck to my principles of what I actually said I was going to do in terms of what my main focus was going to be for this character. And actually I said that my main focus would be, of course, thievery, theft, and those kind of things. And I've actually deviated from that. So what I really want to do with you guys, I want to take us back to the beginning where we just got and got ourselves out of the uh, prologue uh that's not here because that's the running that's of course the beginning quest start is that it i believe it is um, run 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 come coming awakening yes that's it awakening after awakening okay that's the beginning that's of course where we're going to go back to apologies about this guys hopefully you can forgive me for that i'll basically make sure i don't publish those couple of episodes i basically made but of course this is the first place where we'll basically be able to speak and interact with people and do stuff with people here if i look at myself at the moment i'm pretty much undressed and that's of course not my intention yeah, so I'm actually going to put some clothing on and so forth. Uh, brown tunic is not the one I want to have. I want to basically have this one. I want to have that one. Because I want to have one of them. One is fine. Uh, yep, I got boots. I got other stuff. Black hosen. Groschen. There's a heck of a lot of stuff, as you can see here, that basically you want to get rid of. So I'll be selling a, a fair amount of this stuff here later on. But yeah, we're just going to try to get through all of this first here. I'm going to only want to basically have one of these, one of these. We're just going to make sure we basically got the basics here in terms of clothing and so forth with us. Oh, there is a quality to these. Interesting, okay. I believe that one's actually better. Let's just get dressed here. So we're going to put that one on. Black pants, hunter's gloves. the padded coif I cannot do with this I need something else for that okay I'm not overburdened at this point so that's good I'm in a state where at least I can clean myself up and I should be able to as we can see we basically got all the DLCs installed here with it so we're gonna basically not do any of the DLCs for the moment being I want to have a chat with the Miller here. Miller Peshek. My name's Henry. My name's Pe And talking of while you were lying, that quack. So he's talking about me having to basically pay a debt you back to him. That. If you prove to me you're... All right. Well, what would you need for me? A trifle. That sounds straightforward enough. Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. No honorable man. Did you expect a... All right. I'm happy to do Prepare that. For Listen. Jesus Christ. So he wants me to retrieve a ring off of a dead body, basically. I think I've already... Watch your mouth. If there's any... Thanks. So I'm kind of skipping uh, through here because it's, it's a lot of talking that he's basically doing here. Which, of course, is not always as welcome as we might want it to be. At the moment, I got a quest here to get a spade. Can you so one of the things, of course, you need to do is basically speak to all of these people here. Sent. What do you think about... I don't. I don't give a damn who's. Do you know anything about the heathens? That's all. All right. So we're basically trying to basically learn a few things. Take care now. So picking locks. We're asking for a lesson. 
Hold the lock bit in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumbler. In your left hand, you hold the blade and use it to turn the lock. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock with the blade, but don't stop holding the tumbler with the pick. Otherwise, you'll be fucked and you'll have to start all over. Right, I'm trying to listen to him. I basically... You forced it and broke the lock pick. That crack could be heard in Kudenberg. You have to watch out for that. An experienced guard will recognize the sound at once. Right, let's try that again. It wasn't the best positioning anyway, so... You're a dab hand, Hal. Nice. Make something out of you yet. But remember, this trunk's only a crack. The real... Where can I find a shot? There's one right out. All right. Cool. So he's given us a quest. We can, of course, go through this a couple of times. Hand to find some snaps in there. Savory snaps. Whoa. Yes. Sorry, Mr. Miller. So one of the things I actually haven't picked up here is, of course, savory snaps. Ooh. Um, yes. Now I have to complete that quest for him before he's actually willing to buy any of the stuff I'm carrying. Hello, Teresa. Have you eaten yet? Yes, it was very... I did. All right, Teresa is... Well, you're a sight. A fine lass. Have you got a moment? A all right. How did okay. you get me away? It was... So we're asking me about the history here, which is, of course, amazing. So, robot. Why would Zbyshek... He was... Up. Tell me. When those... All right. Bastard. Where's the sword I had? You had a I don't give a damn. So well, the sword itself it looks to have been stolen. What happened to the horse? They saw something that can happen. Matthew. They're alive. What about Sir Radzik? Okay. Sir. How did you? You're wrong. If it, after you just. I gained no, reputation right. because, of course, I saved her, which, of course, is great to see. I won't trouble you. In. I'd like to. So. It's a big time. Again, more information. Every oh, time I basically, of course, ask one of the uh, white items here, it basically gives us a booster to towards the actual That's speech all. skill. What are you up to? A walk. I'd like that very much, but I can't right now. If that's what you want. It's not you, Hal. Okay. So, I've got a few items here that are too many. I need to just get rid of those. Let's actually look in here. So the coif I'm not using at the moment. Why did I not equip this? I'm not quite sure. I must have had a good reason for that. Let's actually look at the savory snaps here myself. I'm sure I can basically pick up a few of these here. All right, perfect. And I think that will do for now. So we basically had some food. We just need to make our way to the place where, of course, we suspect that we can, uh, not over here, in this direction, really. Uh, we're looking for the place where we can, of course, find the items in question. So there's another, there's a tanner right next door, a trader is working there. So what we're going to ask some questions again here. What's life like? We got... How's the rat up? Well... Have you heard anything about the... As you can see, know. our main level has increased, which of course is great to see. May the Lord watch over you. Now, there are a few quests, or sorry, not quests, but a few, few perks that are quite useful to have. I will have a look at those perks, see whether we can actually acquire them. And put them to good use. I hope... Okay. What kind of... Young sir. What's life like? So we're asking Good. for more information, actually, what How the local run? town is like and so forth. Have you heard anything terrible? All right, nothing new to learn here, unfortunately. He is working here. But yeah, this place probably reeks of all the urine they're using here. Lovely. And I'm just walking through it. Amazing. Absolutely fabulous. Walking through urine. <sighs> Not what I would recommend to anyone. Dandelion. Let's pick up a bunch of that. Let's pick up some poppies. See, all the poppies around me are gone now. I 
can do pretty much the same here with the dandelion. Again, we should basically clear an area around ourselves. I don't know exactly what circumference of area that actually it clears as such, but we can of course find out by simply asking people. Anyways, there is someone walking right over here at the I moment, as you can see. Should come. What kind of governor is uh, he strict? But all right, let's ask a few questions here. How do the rat don't even talk? Have you heard anything? Everywhere. That all right, let's then head back and okay. let's make it from there. All right, I'm just gonna quickly pop out of here for just a second, and we're gonna be back here in a moment. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I wanted to pop into here to basically have a quick conversation with the ladies that are actually based here. At the baths, Zel Zelda. Greetings. Let's ask about Rate. What's life like? Life is good. Have you heard? Any Don't talk. All right. Again, I'm going for the white options because those are meant to give me boosters. What's life like? This is a menor. All right. So that one's done. Again, like I said, the white options are the ones I want to focus in on. That's the proprietor. Be with you. What's life like? All right. Life is good. How do the rat? <laughs> right, let's speak to these people here as well. And that should be the last one. Of course, I can actually use the bath services if I wanted to. But in reality, I don't really want to do this. I can, of course, go for a shave. I can get a haircut. Those kind of key things. I can pay for a wench. Get myself healed and so forth. But yeah, actually, we're not going to go ahead with that at this point. I'm actually going to carry on and make my way out into the open world. So I'll come across people here from time to time. It's out in the open, like I said. What's my hunger like? I'm still at 52 in terms of nourishment only. So let's eat from the pot. Now, I don't know how much that has done. It's brought me to 77. So that will basically last me for a little bit at least. So a little bit of time will basically get me at least across the river there. That's kind of where I wanted to go. I'm going to pick up that St. John's Fort here. As you can see, that entire patch of St. John's Fort was just taken, which is great. Let's pick up the poppy here as well. Oops, what's this? Is this the other one? No, it's not. I thought it was one of the other herbs. Poppies again. I'm quite sure that some of this stuff here... Some of this stuff will be becoming useful when we actually start creating our potions. So we need to learn some alchemy for that purpose. We don't know alchemy yet. Um, I would suspect we need to learn to read and write first. But uh, yeah, let's just keep that in mind My before we do anything else. Be with. So nothing new that she can add to this, unfortunately. It's fine. <coughs> let's talk to the man. God be with you. Farewell. All right, nothing else to add here, it looks like. So let's make our way up into the forest. Now, when you do this at night, do make sure that you actually are carrying with you a torch. Because it is very dark in here. And basically, you will lose your way unless you're carrying a torch. So a torch is essential. So I'm going to basically follow this path here. This should be relatively quick as in the path goes. Now, you might have noticed that on the right side just a minute ago, there was a mushroom. I didn't pick it up yet because I thought, well, let's leave that for now. We're going to follow the right path here because we do see the house in front of us already. I just don't want to basically come out in front of the house. I really want to come on this side of the house because that's where we can pick up our uh, shovel or our spade, whatever you want to call it. Not sure what this is. This is meant to be burnt stuff. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's burnt. All right, we picked up the shovel. That's great. That's the executioner. Uh, this is a bit awkward, but... was a family man. He left children, you say. You're right, I do have the ring. But actually... It's a deal. Here it is. <laughs> what? This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. 
So yeah, we basically got it the cheap way pretty much. As opposed to going the, the long way, we basically bought it off of him. Which of course is one of the ways in which we can do it, but uh, yeah. That's the gallows. We're really going to focus on trying to basically get that grave dug up. Let's just go through the motions at least. That's the grave that basically Miller Pashik asked us to open up. And what I will do, I'll basically, I will be going, of course, into the <coughs> motions. So let's have a quick look here. So that's the good thief. You can, you should pay Miller Pashik to debt for the treatment. That's an option. Go back to Pashik. Go back to Pashik. Okay, so I've basically got a couple of different ways of actually getting that done. I've actually chosen this way, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that, to be honest, but... Uh, Bear in mind, there's ultimately ultima multiple routes to take to get to the same result. And I took the one of actually using my money to basically procure this particular item from the executioner. Ah! Yeah, one thing again to remember here, try where you can to use the paths. They are far safer than not using the path. And like I said, because we're in the daytime, it is a far, far easier exercise at this point to do this than if we were to do this at night. So I'm going to make my way towards the mill. Or the miller, I probably should say. <coughs> I've discovered Rete, really? Really? I'm pretty sure I was in Rete already, but never mind. There's a couple of different routes to take, and I'm now taking a slightly more direct route back to the miller. At least I hope. And yeah, it is really my intention to steal this town blind eventually. Um, well, at least steal the surrounding towns blind. I'm not sure if it makes sense to do that for my new hometown. Of course, there's consequences to doing that to the new hometown as such. And I do want to avoid those consequences, or at least make my life here bearable. Now, one of the things I've noticed in the other episodes I had recorded, which I'm not going to actually publish anymore, because it wasn't really focused upon my core bits that I was really aiming for, is I am not as such going to uh, yeah, just not use my weapons. Really, using the weapons is, of course, quite important. God be with you. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Okay. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek for Miller and Kohelnik. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. You'll buy stolen... All right. Can you tell me something? There's a couple of other... So there's two other Millers that we're aware of, so in total there's three. Temper. Unfortunately. What about this song? An odd one he is, a loner who don't talk much, but he's as dogged as a hunting hound. One. All right, that's useful to know. Tell me something about. There's nothing much to tell. Would you teach me? Aye. Good luck then. <laughs> right, so that's a new skill we're going to learn here. So I'm basically got quite a few bits of down the line with me, as you can see. I was hoping to be able to wash myself here, but I can't, as you can see. And currently I'm overloaded because I got too much stuff on me, it looks like. Now our maximum weight is 86, as you can see. And currently we're pretty close to that limit already. I've got some goods. All right. Right, let's at least start selling some of the stuff I've got here, like poppies. I got a ton of them. Let's at least sell it. I know I know I can probably get more money elsewhere, but for now, at least it helps me in clearing up some of this stuff here.
dandelions. It's a good one to sell as well. I got 14 picklocks as you can see at the moment on me. Damage. Okay, that's the amount of damage it will do. That's great. I got the spade here. I can, of course, get rid of this one. Did I just add that to the basket? Yes, I did. Alright, that will do for now. Let's actually haggle on this. It's not going to get me a lot of money, but Something every more. little bit helps. Well, Every little bit of money helps. That sounds pretty... I knew we could... Alright, let's go. Come on. I'll stand here. First, you have to run. Once you've found some trash dealing... My right, so there's a, a bit of a guide on how to do this. So we have to hold the key, and then basically, the longer we hold it, the bigger the chance that we actually get it done. So I need to basically do into sneaking mode, and I basically need to go and hold the key here. And as you can see, it basically builds up a sort of, of, of timer. Now, it does start changing color a couple of times to indicate... What's the likelihood of getting that done? That's the way. Best practice. Thanks, Pashek. You're welcome. All right. I'd like to try as you wish. I'll stand here first. You have once you've found trash dealing my. I'll see you later. Right. Let's try that again. So we're going to use the same principle here. It basically gives us a certain amount of time to basically get this done. Away. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Best practice on drugs. So yeah, it's, it's really a combination of both stealth as well as the pickpocketing skill that we need to use here to get this done. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to basically try to make some money because we got lots of stuff that we basically brought in from before. I'm going to try to sell that now. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up this trunk here. We're going to pick up all those elements that we don't want to have, that we want to sell, basically. All right, so the green shirt is ours. That's we might be able to sell and so forth. The dagger could be useful. Do I have two daggers now? I'm not quite sure. Hmm. Anyways, hunting gloves, lady slippers, linen shirt, marigold, mint. Let's uh, well, let's leave the mint here for now. The necklace we could sell. The nightgown we most definitely will sell. The dress we will sell. Roast, roast duck, really. That seems to be quite valuable, so that's quite useful. We've got three straw hats here. Tight olive hose. Really? Any benefits to that? Noise. It's still a noisy one, but okay. Working boots. Yeah, as you can see, we are... Mm, did I pick up everything? I'm not quite sure. Let's just double check. Yeah, that's the one I wanted to sell as well. The rest should be fine for now. So let's find the miller. No, he's in a different place now than earlier. That's fine. I've got some goods. All right. All right so what we're doing now is we're actually going to sell these items here. We're going to basically select the items one by one. The noise level is quite high on this as well, unfortunately. That's really unfortunate. Uh, these are still noisy, unfortunately. I was hoping to be able to make it less noisy, but that doesn't seem to be possible at this point in time. Lady slippers. Yeah, we don't need lady slippers, really. This one, metal plated battle axe. Okay. The hosen. Okay, so 
Yeah, I think we're wearing a good one at the moment. We're going to basically put that on later on as well. We're going to put that on as well. That's already a nice amount that we're basically getting out of there. I know these used to be mine. I'm just wondering, do I need these or do I want to basically go for a different one? I'm not quite sure yet. All right, let's go for that for the moment being. <coughs> let's talk about the price. Hmm. All right. Satisfied? Yes. You won't convince I'm sure I won't convince you with that, I'm, and I'm sure. Very well. All right, there we go. So, am I overloaded at this point? No, I'm not. I do carry with me a spade. I don't need that spade, to be honest. So I'm actually going to put that spade back in the box, back in the chest. So for my inventory itself, I'm going to put that spade away. Anything else I want to put away? Why am I still carrying that surcoat? Ah, the surcoat I want to, of course, wear, isn't it? And then I got that one as well. So basically all of these are worn now. The only thing, of course, I'm missing here is really stuff for my legs to protect my legs with. Now he has given me another quest. And of course I can actually use that quite nicely. Uh, who's that? Ah, is that Milan? Yes, it is Milan. God be with you. How do the... Well... Have you heard anything? Don't talk to me about... What kind of guy? Sir Hanush is... So I'll come back to this guy later on because really he's got a nice quest that we can actually go with. What's the current time? The current time is close to six. Now we do need to set up some fast travel points. I don't have any of those set up yet. So I want to basically go up here. I do believe that this actually leads up to the back entrance to Rate. Sorry, do I get... Well, I didn't really realize that. I thought I only got vitality by not running, but by basically jumping and that kind of stuff. But maybe it's running up hills as such that actually does the trick. Okay. Uh, yes, as you can see, there is the back of the buildings. It's quite steep here, so yeah. I don't think that will basically work out too well for whoever it is that's going to do that. It's a bit of a climb, isn't it? So for the time being, I'm actually going to leave that climb be. So, just going to be walking along here. Going to run as much as possible, but I do want to make sure, of course, I keep an eye on what's going on here. Looks like there's a, a fort, or at least a place to ford the river. I will be following this path for a while yet. Is that? Yeah, that's basically some supports to keep the uh, hillside from sliding down onto the path. We're basically on our way here to the other miller. Interesting, yep. Yeah. Place of interest, they call it. All right. Now, one thing I'm quite sure of is that we will come across places where there are bandits and so forth located. I do want to make sure I am prepared for that. So let's make sure. Yes, I've got everything equipped. <coughs> If I do need to pull my weapons, at least I can do so. So I'm making my way from one mill to another mill. Joseph has been buried here, which is a bit unfortunate. Sorry to hear that, Joseph. Oh well. Down a little bit again. 
just to see what's going on. In terms of our money supply, we're about at 600 groschen. That's the name of the local currency. Is that a bridge? Or at least that used to be a bridge, it looks like. Uh, okay, it looks like I'm not going to meet any bandits here at all. I'm actually well on my way to this place here. That's the miller and his daughter, I guess. Good health to you. Miller Pashak. A ring. Here it is. All right. What the, why did you throw it away? Like <laughs> yes, it's like a, it's, it's a test. Be All right. What am I to do with these things I pilfer? No one will buy stolen. Buying and selling stolen goods is a crime. But if they're worth something, I can make sure they're not okay. that I buy them. So if someone loses something, that's okay. the. Er Good luck to you. So if I'm not mistaken, as you can see, I'm basically back down to just these two quests here. If I were to pick up the next quest, I believe there's actually a timer on there as to how long it's going to take. So do I owe the miller anything at this point? I don't think so, to be honest. I don't have any activities listed here, so that's great. Let's have a quick look up here. No, nothing to be found here, to be honest. I quickly want to run up this path here just to see what's going on. I just want to keep an eye on what's going on here. Oh, there's a little bridge. I could have used a little bridge, but I didn't. Which, of course, doesn't really help. I've discovered Rate Woods. Now, one thing to bear in mind. Okay, there is a quest or activity giver there, which is fine. Uh, one thing I actually haven't done yet is actually haven't gone through the process of actually... Uh, yeah, engaging with any hostiles as of yet. Okay, I'm at the back entrance to Rete. Now, there's a few things here that I actually haven't dealt with as of yet, so I should find that there is here a fighting spot where, of course, we can learn to fight. Is there other bits there? There seem to be other bits there, but I don't see them on the map with any particular marks as such. Let's just have a quick wander over to there. That looks to be an inn, doesn't it? Town folk. Jesus Christ. Yes, and to you as well. Let's just get out of there. He's got nothing new to tell me. God be this person. What's life like? Life is good. Well, thanks for the information. That's really useful. Yeah, well. Oh, I guess. To some extent. Right. What else have we got here? There's more people over here. Another townsperson here. Nothing new to be had here from this guy. Good day to you. Very well. He just wants to play dice with me, which, okay, yeah, that's reasonable. There, satisfied. All right. Can I sleep? Aye, there's room. For how long? All right, that's a good question. Uh, let's. Just the one night? No problem. That's a lot. Suit yourself. Goodbye. All right, so she's offering a few things, which is fine. Good day to you. What's life like? like? That, uh, this is a man. Have you heard anything? I don't. All right. So, yeah, we're going to just basically engage in conversation with a few folks here just to try to build up our speech skill as such. Good luck. Nothing he's got to offer me, unfortunately. Anyone else here? Not a town folk. Town thanks to you. Again, there's nothing new to be found here, it looks like. 
which is fine. Okay, I'm in a private area, I don't mean to be, sorry. Right, let's just have a quick look. What has she got to trade? She's got a few bits and pieces here, as you can see, but that's not really gonna help me much. Is there a place I can wash myself? There's not a person here that I can speak to. I don't think she's gonna offer me anything different. Nope, nothing new to be found here, unfortunately. There's no place for me to wash myself here, looks like. Which is quite unfortunate. But okay. It's a dog that's barking, that's fine. It's a barking dog. Is that a lady that's coming down there? It looks like. Hello, Townsend. Good evening. Have you heard any terrible things? Yep, yeah, okay. Only heard terrible things, and for the rest, you've not heard anything, which is fine for now. So, one of the things I do want to do here, we see we are going to have to basically <laughs> equip this shortly. So, that's fine. So if I don't have this, have this equipped, I'm not going to be able to get much done. Because in reality, they don't want to speak to me and I'm going to get fined and so forth. So, yes, that's not ideal. Got a townsperson here. Good day to you. What's life like? Life is good. All right. God be with you. God be with you as well. There is an archery range right underneath us. No, I don't want to basically pickpocket the guy yet. Well, yet. There's a grindstone here. Yes, there's a grindstone. There's the blacksmith. Good health to you. Nothing else we can do here, unfortunately. So yeah, I basically completed the first quest here for this God be with you. Miller Pasha. The Lord watch over you. I'm able to work with God him now. God be with you. Again, this particular person here is not going to be able to do anything for me, but that's okay. Not a townsperson Good day here. To you. Farewell. Finally, I can wash myself, which of course is always welcome. My respects right. to you. My respects to you as well. If there were anything else to speak to you about, that would absolutely be amazing. For the time being, though, it doesn't look like that is possible. Good evening. Goodbye. So, there's a heck of a lot of stuff we can do in here. Just for now, just going to make my way out of town. And I'm actually going to go towards... Oh, okay. Halt! Oh. I'm Henry, son of the sky. Of course you are, lad. Okay. And I'm the Pope. I may not look the Pope. All right, then. <laughs> yes, thank you. And I will do so shortly. Thanks again for the offer. I'm going to make my way back to Miller Pesek. Well, at least I can fast travel there if I wanted to. So I'm going to go back to Miller Pashek and I'm going to sleep over there in the bed that's made for me. At least that's my intention. What's the current time? It is just after nine. Is there anything else in here that I would like to sell? As you can see, there's a couple of maps. Maps, of course, are useful to have with you. Oh, 
Let's have a quick look at those maps to see if I can actually discern where they are that we are looking at. Does it say Newhoff? And then Rate. Interesting. Rate and Newhoff. And that seems to be running southwards. Okay. Let's have a look at this map here. Rate. Okay. Cross the river, take a left. Well, that seems to be a lot closer at least, which is interesting. Uschlitsch, <coughs> okay. Well, it looks like there are people hung over there, if I'm not mistaken. <coughs> Lovely as well. That says Rate. At least the direction of Rate seems to indicate. And that I have got no clue about whatsoever. Unless scallops, that could be scallops maybe. Anyways, let's take our torch and let's put them out. Hello, Teresa. Greetings, Henry. All right, guys, we're going to call it a day right over here. So we're going to go and sit and we're going to go to sleep here. That, of course, is an opportune moment for us to really call it a day. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Of course, after we've done our eight hours of sleep. Can we do more than eight hours? Probably. So, yes, we're going to start with nine hours of sleep. I guess there's a limit on there. I'm not sure exactly what the limit is and how many hours of sleep you can have. But my thinking here at the moment is we are going to do nine hours of sleep to basically wake up at seven. I can actually wake up early even if we wanted to. All right. Now, at this point, I can take those bread rolls. They were prepared for me as well. Now, I do want to make my way up to the Lord. So one of the things I've said, actually, of course, is we're going to basically call it a day. So I'll be back, of course, after we reload the game. Guys, thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. In the meantime, take care.